And you can refill your watering can here. That's why that pool of water is like right there. So you can make a bridge like this. Oh, I remember now. You can make a bridge going this way. Right. Eesh, it's been so long I've forgotten about this stuff. That like just now came back to me. Really quick, we're also going to kill these tiger slime over here. Because there is a possibility that they will drop a slime. Oh, crap. Because I do need a slime egg from them, and tiger slime can't hurt me either. That's what they look like. That's for you. Come on. Surface. Got a present for you. There we go. Okay, so no tiger slime egg, but it doesn't hurt to kill them anyway. It would help if I had a better watering can, but I've been putting off upgrading anything I don't really need to upgrade right now. Is there anything this way? I don't think there is. I think there's only that one path to the uh, left side. I'll check over here just to be sure. Because it's been like over two years since I've done the Ginger Island stuff, so I don't want to rule anything out. Yeah, there's nothing over here, that's what I thought. Okay, so there's seven and eight. The dungeon music here is also really, really cool. Hardwood, nice. Okay, we got golden walnuts, so now we have nine. That's why I'm like in here right now, because I don't think I can find any other golden walnuts until I do a little bit of work here. It's mostly just those dancing flames I have to be concerned about. I probably do need to save these cinder shards for something, so I will keep those. There we go, now we have ten. Let's get out of here. I don't want to go very far into these mines right now. But at the same time, I had to to get uh, some of the things I need.
Okay, so now we can move that tortoise. Yeah, let's pay that. I feel kind of bad for the tortoise. I mean, he wasn't doing anything wrong. He's snapping there and those parrots just chase them away. Okay, so we need 20 to get this fixed and this will basically give us a small house that we can use here. So it's basically like you get a second farm. On a much smaller scale. Okay, so wait a minute, we need to... I remember this ship too, this is really cool, this used to be like a pirate ship. Okay, I think how you do that is you have to hit him with your watering can, but I can't do that with a level 1 watering can. I'll save that ginger. I'm pretty sure I can use that for something later. I think I'm going to head back to the farm by 10. I don't want to stay out here any longer than that. Okay, so that's... 2... 3... 4... Okay, so you need to gather a total of... Uh, 100 golden walnuts to enter that room. I have been in there before in my previous save, so I know what's in there, but I'm not going to say anything about it. And there's also someone else living here. Let's trigger this cutscene and talk to this person. Okay, so War Memento. <clears throat> I know exactly what we need to do with this, and we'll do it in our next Stardew Valley Day. I'd be really lucky if we got a uh, Tiger Slime Egg now, but I don't think we will. we got a golden walnut. Nice. You also just get like golden walnuts from like randomly like fishing or killing some of the enemies around here. Let's get this hardwood while we're at it. Okay, I need to head back towards the uh, valley. I can't stay here any longer. Oh, and there's one more here. I think the next thing I'm going to save my golden walnuts for is definitely the house. 
Because, like, it'll be a big bonus if I can sleep on this island. Get that. Okay, I'd love to say, but I really do have to get going. So we'll get this hard with and we'll get out of here. Time to go. Back to the valley. I need to see the cutscene. And we'll take care of that war memento tomorrow. Okay, we do have a little time to gather up truffles. I'm actually going to keep those pineapple seeds because I might actually need them for something later. Yeah, and that war memento is a quest item so you can't sell it even if you wanted to. Oh, I forgot to put the truffles in the box. There we go. Alright, let's go to bed. Okay, 18,443 gold. A male slime has hatched. That's good. So that means we have a male green slime in the, um, in the red slime hutch. And we have a female red slime. No, oh, I don't want to talk to you pigs, I want to get the truffle. There we go. Give me the truffles. The truffles. There we go. Okay, so we have to go to Sam's house, and we need to talk to Kent. I think he might actually come out of the house before uh, 9 a.m. though, sometimes. Because he steps outside a lot to get some air. Alright, and while we wait for Kent, I will be right back.
Okay, so I think Kent already left the house. Where do you go off to? Okay, he's right here. Let's give him this war memento. This is for him. So we receive the gourmet tomato salt. So we should give this to. Um, I think this is a quest item. I don't think we can sell that. Do we take it back to Ginger Island? I think we do. Let's try doing that. I forget who we're supposed to give that to, but we're supposed to give it to someone. Oh wait, maybe we're supposed to give that to Gus. Yeah, that actually makes more sense. Yeah, we do have to give it to Gus. I I'm remembering it now. And then Gus gives us something that we can take back to, like, Ginger Island, I think. I'm actually doing a lot of guessing on this, but let's uh, hope my brain is remembering this in the correct order. That being said, if it is an important quest item like I think it is, I don't think that... I don't think that the game will just let me give it to someone it's not supposed to go to. But it just seems like the sort of thing that should be given to Gus anyway, because like he, he's the only one that really owns the closest thing to a restaurant in the valley. So let's wait just a little bit longer, he's almost open. you get to the bar. Yeah, this is the one we're supposed to give this to. Yeah, we're not supposed to give him that. Uh, I do want to talk to his character, though. Okay, yeah, so we get that rose, that Sardu rose from him. And then we give that to the uh, woman that gave us the uh, picture of, of, of uh, Kent's friend. That's how we're supposed to do it. I will go back to Ginger Island to do this because I do want to finish that quest. And then we'll clean up the uh, future farm here. Because this is going to be like our, our secondary farm. We will be spending a lot of time here once we get the uh, house built. Wait, can't I give this to you?
And I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to give that to someone. Let me look up Kenta and see if I can find the quest. I don't remember exactly who that goes to. Okay, so I did check it out, and we do need to give her a different item. I think I need you to give that rose to, like, a few other... I, I should try giving it to the cave goblin or the, um... Or Krobus. I think maybe the cave goblin at the Sardu Mines, at, at the, uh, Valley Mines might do it. Let's go up here. Oh wait, there's actually some stuff I want to mine here too. I think if you mine like these things here, a golden walnut might drop. Like that. Yeah, there we go. And we need 20 to fix that house. Golden walnuts are basically the currency on this island. These four, like, white flowers here forming a pattern, forming a circle. Dig right here. Golden walnut. Need ten to fix the uh, bird transport. I do not care at all about that, so we will not be doing that today. Okay, first pattern is blue, yellow, green. Blue, green, yellow, purple.
Getting that combination is hard. I'll work on that later. Okay, we can get the golden walnut from there. Let's cut down this tree. More tiger slime! I'm more than happy to fight you guys, because you can't hurt me, and I can potentially get a slime egg from you. So far, no luck with the uh, purple tiger slime egg, but that's fine. We'll get one eventually. Okay, so there's another golden walnut over here. Okay, we have nine now. That's great. I think I know how to get over there. Yeah, right like that. Okay, so now we have half of what that parrot wants. Are there any other new parrots here since I opened up like the entrance uh, area? I know eventually you can unlock that area. The parrot will eventually appear here to fix this area up more. Let's go check this area really quick. Okay, fine, fix the bridge. I need access to more of this island. Okay, so we need to get that boulder gone. Maybe we'll come back tomorrow. How would you get rid of that boulder? Well, we have an Iridium pick. That wasn't doing anything. I think I'll go get some explosives from that goblin in the uh, valley mines. And then I'll come back here. Because I want to try giving that goblin that rose anyway. Because I think he's how I get the final piece to that quest. So I think that's what I'll end up doing. Let's gather our truffles before we go to sleep. What does that mean to come in here? I 
Okay, so we have like 25 truffles, that's fine. We gathered like 24 today. Save that wood, clay. For now, we'll save these bone fragments. I actually might need those for, like, um, some of the things on Ginger Island. We'll save that ginger. Save that fiber. Oh, let's save these cinder shards, too. Okay, I'm pretty sure I need to take that rose to that goblin in the cave. How much gold did we make? 31,119. Okay, nice. We made 990 off of those. The truffles made most of the profit, though. Okay, what I really need is another rainy day. I can start giving Sam and Gus gifts next week. But for now, we're going to head straight to the mines. I don't really like spending gold, but I don't want to have to come back, so... I'm going to buy one of every kind of bomb. Try a cherry bomb. A regular... Oh, I guess I had a regular. And let's try a Mega. Oh, we can buy some Weathered Floor, too. That's a crafting recipe. Okay, so we're a quarter of the way to what we need. Can't give the rose to you, huh? Okay. Who do I give that rose to? Like, who has the locket? I'm trying to think of, uh, who would have the locket. It has to be someone. Maybe I should take the rose back to Kent. Maybe. There's no way Linus could use it. No, I highly doubt it. Okay, let's look around the valley. I'll try giving it to Kent or to uh, maybe Jody or some someone. I'll, I'll try a different, a couple of different people. 
Maybe even the wizard. That I didn't even really think about that option. Maybe I should take it to him. But for now, we'll take it back to Kent. We'll see if Jody can do anything with it. I, I doubt it, but... Never know. Yeah, wrong person. Let's check Krobus, just in case. I'm pretty sure it's not Krobus. Yeah. Okay, let's check out the wizard. Because I can't think of too many other people that I could give that to. And it could be him. If it doesn't work with the wizard, I'm just gonna look it up on my phone really quick. Just look up the item and who it goes to. Okay, wrong person. Uh, let's let's check it out. So it is called the Stardew Valley Rose. From Gus, yeah, we do get from him. Oh, that's right, the quest does continue. Okay, so we need to go to, um... We need to go to Calico. I didn't even think about Sandy. Yeah, okay, so we need to give it to Sandy. And then we give the other thing to, we get the thing, we get a remote from Sandy, and then we give that to Pam. At least I'm pretty sure we give that to Pam. A lot of trading to do. Hey, some coral, nice. And a package wash, washed up on shore. Super meal, nice. This is actually the first, like, um, beach farm that I've ever done in Sardew Valley. I think it's kind of an interesting farm layout. I like it. I would consider using the beach farm in future save files. Okay, well, let's make a little progress with this and give this rose to, uh, Sandy. Oh wait, I don't give this to Pam, I give this to George, because George loves watching television. That's right. You give this um, remote to George because it, it helps him work his TV. That's who you give it to, and then he gives you the locket, I think. Now I'm remembering the last bit of it. Okay. Let's go to George. 
Yeah, that's right. It's all coming back to me slowly. Okay, so we need to see George. I hope he's home. Yeah, here he is. Here, George, you can have a remote. I'm not sure how he can tell that from his kitchen, but I guess that just proves what a great remote it is. Oh, Arctic Shard. So we must have to take this to Clint. I'll bet the locket's like inside this Arctic Shard. I mean, who else could use something like this? It's so obvious that you need to take it to Clint. Like... I can't think of anyone else that could use it. If I'm wrong, that'll be really funny though. Yeah, it's definitely Clint. Weren't you gonna do anything with it? Wait, maybe I do take this to the wizard. You're just meant to think that you're supposed to take it to Clint. Okay. So the game kind of tricks you. They kind of make it seem like something that you should take to Clint, and then Clint's like, I can't do anything with this. The game tricked me. Alright, let's take it to the wizard. I'm not sure if I'll go to Ginger Islands today or not. I might actually go tomorrow instead because it's already... It's already getting late in the Stardew Day anyway. Wiggly worm. Okay, we take this to Willy. Yeah, this is sort of a long quest line. If you don't know where to take the items. Yeah, let's give this worm to Willy. And we have the pirate's locket. You know what, let's take it by tomorrow instead of like today because like it's already late in the Sardu day. And like, if I'm gonna go back to the island, I'm gonna want to do a couple other things there. Like, clear out more of the stuff there. So we'll just... We'll just go there when, tomorrow and we'll have more time. Good job, pigs. Lots of truffles. I need to make a profit. Okay, so we can sell like 26 truffles today, that's great.
How much gold did we make? 33,680. Get that diamonds. Okay, so right away we're gonna head for Ginger Island, Island, so we'll have lots of time. I know we need to give Gus a gift today, but we can give him a gift when we get back. I want to get to the island as soon as possible. Gotta wait until eight. And we have three different types of explosives and an iridium pick, so hopefully we can get that giant boulder taken care of as well. I can't really think of what else that you would use to like get rid of that boulder, so I'm thinking that you have to use like um, one of the explosives to deal with it. Okay. 1,000 gold. And let's just take this straight to Birdie. Okay, so we get the fairy dust crafting recipe. <laughs> and she gives us five golden walnuts for helping her. The only thing that's a little disappointing is that you can't actually go into her house. For a game that is as detailed as Stardew Valley, I'm kind of disappointed that that wasn't like part of it. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can gain more golden walnuts mining these. Okay, so we're going to go back to that cave and let's see if we can do anything about that. Let's 
Any new parrots appear since I completed that bridge? Not yet. Oh, a normal bomb did it. Okay. I thought I'd need something a little bit more powerful. So this is Professor Snail. And after freeing him, you can go into the cave that he was trapped in. So this is just like an additional cave that spawns mushrooms, much like your own mushroom cave that you can use. And Professor Snail works at this tent here. So this is basically like the secondary museum. So yeah, help out Professor Snail. There's even like a donate to the museum option here. And these are like the things that you can donate towards. Oh right, report the number of flowers on the island. I have no idea how many are on this island. Hey, you can try once every day. Maybe we'll just pick a random number every day till we get it right. Like, I'm gonna count all the flowers on this island. I can't even see everything on this island. Let's use these two explosives I wasted my gold buying. Hey, we got a fossilized leg. We can definitely use that. So we have a skeletal hand, and a fossilized leg, and 24 bone fragments. As far as I remember, these journal scraps are basically uh, useless. They're trash items. I don't think they serve any purpose at all. Thank you. 
Okay, a skeletal tail. <clears throat> so let's cut down this tree. And get rid of all this. Dig here. Got some wild bait. Oh, okay, so wild bait is a fishing thing. Yeah, I'm not fishing right now, though. Let's get rid of all those seeds. I don't need those. Okay. Cut down this tree. So there's a leg. Okay, so we don't need the skeletal hand, and Gunther can tell us more about the skeletal tail. These pages are crap. tiger slime here today. I want to continue to fight these guys in case I can get a um, slime egg drop from them. Okay, let's go back to the valley. I need to go see Gus. And I need to go... See Gunther as well. I'm not sure if I'll have time to see Gunther today or not. I might have to wait until uh, tomorrow to do that. I think the museum, like, here closes at, like, 6 or 7. Which is why I don't think I have enough time. Yeah, it closes at 6. Okay, so... We'll have to just donate that skeletal tail tomorrow.
Okay, let's go back and pick up truffles and then call it a day. And how's our hay doing? Okay. Still plenty of hay. For now. So let's sell 23 truffles and everything else we don't need. Okay, thirty one thousand eight hundred and thirty three gold. <laughs> so we're getting close to six hundred K. If we're lucky, we'll have like six hundred K by the end of the day. Oh, Robin gave us 50 wood. That's nice of her. Let's go to our other chests. Put that hardwood in there. And put our Omni Geode in here. Okay, so let's take that uh, tail to the museum. The museum opens at like 8 o'clock or something like that and stays open until like 6. Oh, there's a sweet pea down here. Nice. Yeah, opens at eight. Eventually, I'm gonna have to start fishing because you can get like some gold walnuts from doing fishing too. So I am gonna start like doing fishing stuff like. Probably not this stream, but probably my next one or the one after that. Okay, let's donate that skeletal tail. Okay, what can we collect? Okay, that decoration. And let's go see Sam next.
Oh yeah, and Gus always does his shopping on Mondays. <clears throat> so if you want to talk to Gus earlier, then uh, come by on a Monday and check out Pierre's place before noon. Okay, so we finally have three hearts with Gus. I think the first thing that we get is just something in the mail. But let's check on that really quick. Okay, so yeah, it's just a recipe in the mail. And actually, we do need a certain friendship level with Pam. I don't have any hearts with Pam yet. There's like an event that we need two hearts with Pam for. So you can win over Pam by giving her beer, but that costs gold. I don't know, we'll see. I, I think we can do that event at any point, so like, I'll probably wait and do that event later than uh, usual. Let's get some of these sweet peas. And in, in tomorrow I think I'll do some mining, maybe. Then you get back to the mines. It's probably going to be a little while before I go to Ginger Island now that I've completed that quest. How much does the house upgrade cost? Let's see. Yeah, 50,000 gold. I'm, I'm not comfortable paying that because that's two to three days worth of pay. That's uh, two or three days longer I have to wait to get the return scepter, so I'm just not gonna do that. Sometimes Abby likes coming up here, which is kind of rare. Abby should be one of my next wife choices. Because I definitely want to unlock her 14 heart event too, just not yet. Get some hay here. I'll leave a little bit left so it can grow back. I 
Oh, let's see how the slimes are doing. All right, we finally have some red ones, so that means we can kill off the uh, male green slime. It's no longer needed. <clears throat> the only problem is we have to kind of lure it away from the other ones, so we can um, kill it safely. There we go. Luckily it only takes like one hit. And now we'll have mostly red slimes in here. I think the only way a slime hutch can get ruined is if like the witch comes by like she does once a year. Um, she can curse your chicken coops, which is the most common thing. Which is, she just puts a void egg in there, but if she curses, curses a slime hutch, they all turn like... Uh, they all turn into like black shadowy slimes. So like, she can ruin an entire slime hutch. Harvest all this hay. They found one more truffle for me, that's nice. Okay, so we can sell 20 truffles. I think we're gonna do mining tomorrow. Where's the middle piece to this? This is a three piece thing, I know it is. Where's the rest of it? Did they put it in my fridge or something? No. How about I throw it out? If I did, I didn't mean to. Oh well, let's not think about it right now. Twenty-seven thousand one hundred twenty-five gold. Oh, we have mail today. And this is the recipe, so this is the three heart event that you get from Gus. He just sends you something in the mail. gift this week? <clears throat> I can give Sam one more gift this week. Oh crap. Hang on a second.
There we go. That's better. Okay, I think we're back now. Yeah, sorry about that glaring light on my webcam. Um, unfortunately, when I have a power flicker, which happens once in a while in the fall and winter over where I'm at, uh, it resets my light. And when my light resets, it turns on at like full brightness. Yeah, let's go see Sam. Because we can give him one more gift this week. Okay, and then let's go to the bus stop. We can go to... We can go to Calico now. There's Pam. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Buy a ticket. Okay, let's go into the mines. Okay, we found the ladder, so now let's just see if there's anything valuable down here. Not really. Okay. Next floor, then.
Oh, there's one of those flying things. Come on. There we go. Let's go ahead and eat this. That'll also boost our movement speed temporarily. How long does that buff last anyway? So it lasts about seven minutes. Oh crap. Oh, no, don't leap. Don't do that. Okay. Come on. There we go. Let's get the stone from here and the stone from here. Now we'll actually leave mines. I 
and let's go back to the valley. How many truffles are there around here? Well, let's check the mushroom cave too. So we'll be able to sell 19 truffles. <clears throat> and whatever I forged in the mines that I want. And also what's in here. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So let's get rid of this, all of this. And we'll save the rest. So the slime, the fire quartz, the amethyst. You have to give a lot of those to Abby. The Omni geodes and the void essence. Cactus fruit goes in here. I should probably process some of those Omni geodes, shouldn't I? I can also trade them in. Next time I go to Calico, I'll check what I can trade them in for. Oh yeah, let's put those 19 truffles in too. We have 600 and 610,000 gold. I'm wondering if we can reach 1 million before my stream is over. So we'll be going for about 80 more minutes. I wonder if we can do that today. <clears throat> In about 80 minutes. I don't know. 25,198. If we don't get to 1 million, we'll get pretty close. I don't think we'll reach it though. Yeah, we're, we're just too far away from that. Who can I gift today? No one? Yeah, I can't gift anyone today. So this is going to be another truffle farming day. Okay, we're gonna go straight to the uh, Calico area. Let's grab these forgeables and let's check out the quarry really quick while we wait. Anything good at the quarry? Hey, some rubies, nice. Two of those. That's about it. We'll clean this area up just while we're waiting for Pam. We can actually donate this to the museum. Nice. Let's go do that really quick. I thought that was just going to be something I couldn't use. 
I had already donated, but I guess we can use it. So we'll take the one to town. And then let's donate 